You guys feeling all right? Because we're about to feel better. Um, I'm Kalani, this is World Drum Club. Thanks for joining me today. I'm gonna show you the percussion parts as per patron request for Joe Cocker's recording of Feeling All Right. In case you're not sure what that is, it sounds like this. All right, I gotta stop playing it because I'm gonna get tagged here on YouTube and I, you know, I wanna be able to monetize my own videos. Great song, really cool vibe. I think if you're not, it will make you feel all right if you listen to it. So what I'm gonna do is show you the conga part. That's the main thing that's happening there is a two conga pattern. There's a couple other elements. One of them's really fun and one of them's very um, familiar. And I'll get to those after we do the percussion part breakdown. So let's get right into it. So this is a two conga pattern. It's um, a great sound. You know, I've got my drums tuned up about the same way. A third or a fourth between the drums. Uh, this is about a third. And I'm gonna show you the pattern. I'll break it down. Uh, I'll play it for you again real quick so you can pay attention. Look at the overhead view. And then I will show you the ins and outs. Here it is again. Now, I want to say that if you listen to the recording, you will hear this pattern play, but you're also going to hear a lot of variations. So I am fully acknowledging that there are many variations being played, especially at the beginning of the song. But this is, in my estimation, the main pattern. And, you know, you can play with it, you can vary it. In fact, I did vary it just there in that example. So one main big picture thing is that the entire pattern and we're gonna look at this as we go through it. The entire pattern is made of the handing pattern or sticking pattern, left, left, right, right, left, left, right, right, if you're, if you're right-handed. So unlike a lot of other patterns that will break that up, maybe even do alternating patterns, which I've shown you many of, this pattern is always played left, left, right, right, left, left, right, right. So that's the big picture thing, all right. Other than that, it's got a fairly, t a couple of fairly typical features. One is that there's always a slap on, um, you know, it depends how you're counting it, but if we count one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, it's always got a slap on two in, from, the, from the right hand. Um, and if I'm counting one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four. Um, I do have notation for the patrons. It's written in cut time, which would be more like one, two, one, two, but that's just notation speak. Don't worry about that. So there's always a slap on two in the right hand. There's also always two open tones on beat four. So one, two, three, four. 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 Uh, the first one is low, high. The second one is low, low. And that's the big structure. So now with that in mind, now that you know that, watch again, I'm gonna play it again, and look at those things. Look at the left, left, right, right, slap on two, opens on four, four and. Two, three, four. All right, now I know a lot of you are probably like, whoa, 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 slow down, slow down a minute. <laughs> so I'm gonna do that. We're gonna slow way down, break it down. Let's start with the first bar, first measure. This is a two bar phrase. One, two, three, four, two, two, three, four. So we're gonna take the one, take it right from the beginning, um, and let's look at what we got. All right, so we start with an open tone. And again, this is for right-handers. If you're left-handed, obviously, switch it in your brain, in your hands, to the opposite left-right. First thing, open tone, left hand. And then I'm going to what I would call a fingers tone or you could say hand or palm, just a dead stroke. So one and, just a little touch, fingers on the drum. And I do have a band-aid because I cut myself yesterday. One and, all right. One and. Now we know that two has a slap in the right, right? So, 
one and two. One and two. Uh, the and of two in this case is another kind of muted tone. Finger. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to call it fingers. You know me. I, I like to use hand fingers. Some people use heel toe. Heel toe. So you can, for me, if I say hand, you can substitute heel if that's the way you like to think of it. Or if I say fingers, you can substitute toe if you are oriented in the heel toe vocabulary. All right. So let's look at the first complete one and two and. So we're going to play. Open fingers, slap fingers. We're halfway to, through the first bar. The second half is really straight ahead. That's just a hand fingers, which I've shown you in the march pattern and other patterns in the left, because we're alternating. We just finished two rights. Now we're going to do two lefts. And now we just have open, open, low, high. So the second half of the first bar is easy, right? Hand finger open open. All right, I'll put it together slowly and I may make mistakes. So deal with it. <laughs> Here we go. First measure slow. One and two and three and four and. Ah, let me cycle back. I'm used to doing the whole thing. Let me try to constrain myself to the first measure. Here we go. Three and four and. Ah, all right. You, you get the idea, right? So much easier when you play things up to speed sometimes. We're going to go a little bit faster, but... Um, let's move on to the second measure because you guys are great students and you can rewind the video if you need to go back and look at that. Second measure, similar handing or sticking, but instead of doing open, open sound in the first, we're just going to do regular hand fingers, uh, followed by slap. So same sticking, but instead of doing, we're just playing hand finger slap, just like marcha. Now we're going to do slap and then tone, open tone, because we're doing two rights, remember? One and two and. One and two and. So, di 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 ba. It's a little accent there. And of two, same place as the clave, right? Ba, ba. We're going to hit that note and then same ending as the first bar hand, finger, open, open, except this time we're going to stay on the low drum with two rights. So let's look at the whole second bar now. Three and four and. Easy, you guys, this is easy. I'm going to play it a little bit down tempo uh, again and just listen and check it out. From the beginning, three and four and. All right, so I left out the little open at the last bar. It's, it's hard to go slow. I want to go faster, so I'm, I'm going to do that right now. So here's the metronome again. This is 90 beats a minute, by the way, which is about the tempo of the original song. 90-ish. You can check it. Uh, let's hear the pattern again, and then we're going to move on and learn the percussion parts. A one and two and three and four and...
You're going to hear that in the recording. So listen to the recording. You'll hear the player. Da, 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 da. He does a lot of variations in there too. And I don't know exactly. I should have looked it up before I started this video, but I didn't. So we'll leave it in the comments. Who's the guy playing the percussion? Uh, did a great job. And again, great vibe. I'm feeling all right. Are you? All right. Next up are the percussion parts right after this. Okay, there's two percussion parts, two percussion instruments in the song, as far as I can tell. And there may be more. I'm just trying to listen in there. Sometimes it's hard to tell because there is a drum set. But I believe there is an underlying maraca part. It doesn't start right at the beginning, but if you listen in, once the song gets going, I believe you will hear something like this. And this is on upbeats. So it's one, two, three, four. All right, nothing complicated about that. It's just a cool vibe that's kind of sitting in there, you know, a little, a little percussion, um, just to mm, ah, da, da, get the upbeat lift. All right, and I think they're probably using, again, this is forensic percussion analysis. Um, they're probably using something like this. These are the rawhide style, you know, maracas. These are tycoon maracas, rawhide style. Um, back in the day, you know, that was, prevalent. Those were prevalent. So I'm guessing because of the technology at the time and what was available, probably something like this. If you find out otherwise, let us know. Okay. The other instrument that you're going to hear right in the beginning of the song, it just comes up a couple times, comes up at the beginning, comes up at the end, maybe in the middle, is this one, <laughs> which we all know and love from the 70s, from 70s detective TV shows, um, is the Vibraslap, uh, which is a derivative of an instrument called the quijada, which is the uh, jawbone of a mule or an ass, it, and they used to hit the jawbone, the teeth would rattle. And this was invented by Martin Cohen, founder of LP, I don't know when, back in the 60s or 70s. And um, anyway, a lot of companies make these type of, types of instruments now. Um, this is not a how to play the Vibraslap, but just, just hit the ball part, don't hit this part. Um, and if you're going to strike it on your leg, flip it over so you always hit the ball, don't hit the box part. Really fun. So you hear this in the beginning. Um, you know, I've got it notated on beat four. I think the first time it comes up, it's like and a three or something. It's just an effect. Uh, it's pretty cool. It comes up at the beginning and the end of the song. So mainly, we're looking at the congas um, and, the, and then the maracas as the main percussion instruments. All right. So I'm going to leave it there. Uh, thanks for joining me. Thanks for watching. And I want to thank all of our patrons for not only supporting this channel um, through patreon.com slash Kalani, but also for suggesting that I do more of these uh, breakdown uh, videos of the percussion parts in the music that we love. So thanks again for that. I hope you're all feeling all right, and I'll see you in a future video. Thanks for watching.